aspects of digital control systems. Uh, in our previous class, in the introductory class, we have uh, uh, understood what is control system. Okay, and you have already studied this particular subject in your previous semester. The subject which you studied in your previous semester with the name control system was all uh, all about the conventional control uh, strategies, conventional control theories, methodologies. Like there, you must have studied about the body plot, root locus, route criteria, Nyquist plot, polar plot, like that, right? So, uh, in this particular subject, this subject is first of all uh, beyond the conventional control. Uh, it is uh, uh, related to the modern control methodologies, uh, okay, which are available, which are uh, available in the control system theory or control theory, basically, right? So. <clears throat> A digital control system is only the control system, but it is how do we process the data which is available to us? Uh, how do we use a controller or what kind of controller do we use? OK, it is all about that particular thing. Otherwise, there is no nothing like uh, as such we have the uh, digital. OK, the, the nature is totally analog. We have the analog signals. Yes, we have the methodologies to acquire the analog signals and we have the techniques uh, and systems and tools available to us which we can use to process that analog signal in digital form, right? So <clears throat> let us start with the introduction. Now, a control, so what is a control system basically? I hope you all are well aware about the control system. What is control system? Control system is basically uh, how do you use a particular strategy uh, to get the desired output of a system? Okay, it is all about uh, the strategy which we apply on a system so that we can get the desired response from the system or so that uh, we can make the system to work in a desired manner right okay so it is all about that okay now generally the components which are associated with the control system or are basically the process uh, the plant the uh, controlled output the manipulated output the controllers output um, the error, the reference signal, the feedback signal, there are many things, right? You all must have uh, uh, studied about the uh, closed loop control system. So in closed loop control system, we have a comparator wherein we give a reference signal as the input. Then this reference signal is measured with some or compared with some feedback value. Then some error is generated here, which is given to the controller. And then we have the controller's output U, and it is given to some final control element. And then from there, it is uh, gone to the plant or process. Right? And then we have output. So this output is measured using the transducers or the sensors. We call them feedback elements. Right? And this is how it looks like so this is the block diagram representation of a closed loop control system okay so we have we have many uh, terms associated to this we have an error we have a reference signal we have a controller output we have controlled outputs there is a difference between controller output and controlled output right okay then all these are associated with the control system right then we have So controller is the one which uh, it is that element of the control system which is used uh, to control the overall process. OK, so the strategy, the methodology, the logic, uh, the, the, the algorithm, whatever you say, all are applied to the controller so that controller can work according to that algorithm, according to that methodology or instruction or command and can make the system work in a uh, desired manner, right? It is the controller. For example, if we talk about the uh, human being, about ourselves, we are basically the uh, biological control system.
system so we have brain with us so brain is controlling our body it is controlling our uh, you know actions right okay so it is the controller that does the controlling basically okay then we have the digital control system so now the control system which i just uh, have uh, drawn here uh, is a block diagram representation of any control system whether it is an analog control system or it is a digital control system that uh, is a different thing right but the block diagram representation is more or less same so what is a digital control system where does this digital uh, process comes so where is that digital uh, processing of the information come so it is the controller basically which can be a digital element right so when we make use of computers when we make use of microcontroller or microprocessor to process the information now information here is basically the data so because okay, the data which is given to the uh, controller right so the processing of that information is done digitally now when we say the processing of the information is done digitally so we mean to say that we are feeding the information to some digital device and the digital device is uh, a computer uh, it can be a microprocessor it can be a microcontroller or something like that okay nowadays you must have heard about the arduino controllers or you know uh, kits basically so arduino is also a digital device which processes the information digitally okay so a digital control system uses a digital hardware usually in the form of programmed digital computer so it means the total total meaning of the overall meaning of this particular line is that we make use of a computer so when we have introduced the computer in the control loop now what is a control loop the same again if we talk about a closed loop control system we have a comparator we have a controller here right we have the plant so now final control element i have eliminated because it is the part of plant okay and then we have the feedback right so the comparison is done at this particular end so if this controller is a digital device so this whole control system becomes a digital control system and if it is an analog controller used in the loop control loop so that uh, is termed as the analog control system right because when we have the controller uh, when we have a computer as controller so it simply means that we need to convert the analog information into the digital information and for that we have analog to digital converter and our real world does not understand the uh, digital uh, uh, commands digital signals right we do not understand digital i cannot talk to you in terms of ones and zeros all the time because you won't understand that it is the computer that can understand that particular uh, you know language okay you or me or we because we, who are the part of this universe real time uh, world does not understand digital commands so we need to convert that digital information back to the analog and for that we have digital to analog converters right so the part is analog to digital conversion then you have a computer then you have digital to analog conversion right so analog control system basically having the analog hardware so there we have some electronic uh, controllers and Uh, which have uh, the resistors capacitors or some op amps basically so these controllers are the analog controllers are basically made up of operational amplifiers op amps okay so op amp can be used fine <coughs> so uh, digital controllers normally have analog devices at their periphery to interface with the plant it is the internal working of the control that distinguishes digital from the analog so this is what i was talking to you in the beginning that there is nothing as such digital it is only the processing of the information a part of the overall loop of the control system which acts as uh, uh, or acts in a digital manner so it is when you are using a computer as the controller so that computer because is a digital device so and it is the part of that control loop so we are calling it as digital control system and of course we need to interface this computer with the real world as i earlier mentioned 
because a real world has analog signals we need to convert the analog signals into the digital signals so we have analog to digital converter for that then we need to convert the digital output of a computer back to analog because the real world again does not understand digital information digital commands so for that we have digital to analog convert right now let us have a look on the digital control system block diagram as you can see on your screen here okay so this is the basic structure of a computer controlled system or you can say this is the basic structure of the digital control system right in this particular diagram if you can see we have various elements like this is a controller this collectively is a controller and it is a digital controller right so the the summary of whatever i have mentioned in previous slide can be understood in this particular diagram or from this particular diagram so we have a command input which we generally call as the reference signal this is the reference signal right so it is given to the computer now the output of the plant is measured by using sensors which are the feedback elements right and the output of a sensor is given to analog to digital converter because we cannot directly feed this input or this information to the computer as it is an it is an analog information right so we need to convert it into a relevant uh, equivalent digital quantity value so then we feed it to the computer computer processes that information according to the logic given to the computer according to the instructions which are fed into the computer by the uh, programmer by the engineer right and then the computer on the basis of those instructions will take certain decision and that decision is uh, given to digital to analog controller d2a con converter so we have d2a the digital to analog converter right and then the analog output is given to the final control element now what is this final control element that also i will tell you okay with the real examples right and then we have a plant plant is a, a system basically which we have to control it is the final system which we have to control right where for which we are applying this all strategy control strategy okay then we have the controlled output okay so this is the closed loop control system and this is a closed loop digital control system because we are using uh, computer uh, as a controller here now you can see we have clock also here now this clock is used to synchronize the overall process um, overall processing of the information okay so because here we have a digital signal processing basically that is also included here okay the output of sensor is nothing but a signal okay it is an information which is analog so it is processed digitally by using computer so we need to synchronize the analog digital conversion then processing in the computer then digital to analog conversion right now why it is done that we will discuss in forthcoming lectures definitely uh, through sample and hold circuits through sampling and holding what is sampling and hold right from that we will clearly understand this particular concept why the synchronization is uh, done okay fine now we have disturbances also so disturbance can be any spurious signal any stray signal which affects the uh, plant operation okay <clears throat> now what is a final control element now let us understand this with a very uh, basic example the example is our body our body is as i mentioned is uh, nothing but a con biological control system which is made by god the almighty now we have brain brain is a computer a controller right we have sensors basically sensors are like our eyes ears nose tongue skin these are sensors so we sense anything through all these five sensing elements so okay so the whatever information is captured by these sensors either you feel a touch or you see something or you hear something or you taste something okay or you smell something whatever all that information goes to the controller 
and the controller is the brain it goes to brain through the communication channels and communication channels is your nervous system it is the nervous system that carries that information to the spinal cord spinal cord can be un, uh, no it can be considered as the main hub where all the data is collected and from there it goes to the brain from back side okay and brain will accordingly take some decision will send some signal to your body accordingly your hands or your feet will uh, you know act basically so your hands your fingers your foot all these are actuators basically final control element for example if you are uh, like driving a car okay and all of a sudden you see an obstacle you are running um, you are driving a car and let us say at uh, 150 km per hour at this particular speed on a highway and all of a sudden you see some obstacle let us say at 100 meter away from you so what will happen because you have seen something through your eyes and that is an obstacle and an obstacle you understand if you do not control the speed of car you will hit that obstacle and you can meet with an accident okay so what will happen the information that you see from your uh, through your eyes will go to your brain brain already has a logic brain already has some instructions related to that obstacle and the instructions are that it is an obstacle if you do not uh, apply brake if you do not uh, control the car you can hit that obstacle and you can meet with an accident so immediately your brain will act upon and send some signal to your body your hands will come into movement action your hand will go to the gear lever your foot will release the accelerator immediately go to the brake pedal and you will do something okay so your hands your foot these are the final control element which are controlling the final process ultimate process and ultimate process is your speed of the car and the plant is nothing but your car which is the system which you need to control ultimately okay <clears throat> so so this is how the control system also works so okay you can simply uh, understand it from your yourself because you yourself also uh, are a control system basically okay fine so we can uh, you know have various uh, examples which we uh go through which we see in our daily life which are related to control system okay so there are numerous examples okay so uh so this was all about the block diagram of the uh control system digital control system then let us uh, have a look so this is a real time example here so this is a liquid level control system basically we have a tank here this is the tank these are two pumps basically then we have a motor we have driver circuitry which drives this particular motor let us say then we have the cards interfacing cards basically and these interfacing cards have a to d conversion cards or d to a conversion cards both are there in the interfacing cards um, the commercial name is the data acquisition card dac cards we generally call them okay <clears throat> then we have a computer which is acting as the controller the master basically okay so all the information is going to the computer computer is commanding everything controlling sending the relevant information and the level inside this tank can be controlled the measurement is basically done by this by here from here okay so this is some feedback mechanism basically made up of operational amplifiers it is given to analog to digital card a to d cards which goes to the computer and then accordingly it acts okay so this is uh, an example basically but all the blocks can be these means this example has a computer has final control elements so final control elements are your valves basically these are the valves of or actuators a relay is also a final control element right a relay okay it is also final control element for example uh, if you want to control the temperature of a room and you have an, have an air conditioner installed in a room okay so uh, you have set the temperature let us say 20 degree centigrade so if uh, the temperature of the room exceeds 20 degree centigrade uh, the logic is that the air conditioner shall turn on and if the temperature of the room is goes below let us say 18 degree centigrade the ac shall turn off okay so it is the relay which makes or breaks uh, the circuit which is installed in the ac 
so it uh, connects the ac to the main supply when the relevant instruction is met and it disconnect the uh, ac from the supply when that relevant instruction is met uh, by the overall system okay so now let us come to the advantages which are offered by digital control why uh, we have the digital control when we are already working good with analog control okay it is uh, uh, also a fact that as of now also most of the industries in india specifically uh, have the analog controllers rather digital controllers and there may be various reasons for that okay but the new industries which are setting up the new upcoming industries they are having the digital controllers installed at their end fine so the first <coughs> advantage is the flexibility a digital control is more flexible as compared to analog control and analog control let us say there is one controller which is um, uh, you know uh let us say there is a temperature controller basically which is analog temperature controller so that analog temperature controller is only made for one particular process it can only control at the temperature of any particular system but if we make use of a digital controller instead of an analog controller so we can control many parameters simultaneously we can control temperature flow level speed anything simultaneously by using a single device uh, by uh, keeping the multiple algorithms in the single device by keeping the multiple instructions in the single device so that is how a digital control is flexible as compared to analog control and second advantage or second uh, flexibility is that uh, you can make changes in the digital controller or you can say the algorithm which is fed into the digital controller in real time while the process is working process is going on you can make changes but you cannot make changes in an analog controller okay we have wide selection of control algorithm this is what just i said okay uh, we can uh, have the uh, multiple algorithms uh, uh you know installed in a single computer or a micro uh, processor which can work simultaneously to control the multiple processes right then we have integrated control of industrial systems see uh you must have heard about the word scada s c a d a scada scada is basically the supervisory control supervisory control and data acquisition so scada is basically a software which is uh, used by the industries including the power sector okay so whenever you find the time to visit any power sector you can see that how scada is used there to uh, control the load and all that okay and frequency basically so scada is a software in which you can design the industry and its various processes and parameters all together into a single computer and you can integrate you can connect all those things in a single system so you need not to go to the site and see so everything is visible at the computer end so if anything uh, like in if you if you have seen that uh, uh web series the family man the last episode basically wherein the terrorist is sitting in a chemical in plant and he is uh, changing the data so if you have not seen you can see the last episode it is shown there so that computer screen which shows the tanks and the boilers to wo pooch raha hai usse ki ye kya hoga aise kaise so that basically is the scada okay so all the parts of the industries all the uh, you know processes sub processes of the industries can be uh, you know uh, installed and integrated at one point instead of having multiple controllers like in analog we have multiple controllers okay so we can have less number of controllers in case of digital control right 
and of course uh, digital control system is a future generation control system so now the time for analog is going okay so we have uh, the digital world coming ahead we are in digital world but a new more precise more uh, you know specific more advanced control a uh, digital control system or digital world is coming ahead right so this was all about today's lecture and thank you so much guys